the essence of the physical side of flute playing is actually using our air and using our air properly. And one of the main things, first of all, is getting in the air in a nice, relaxed way. Of course, keep your chest and your shoulders and everything really nice and relaxed, but also think of where you're breathing into. And I always get my students to think of breathing right into the back. That is where the actual largest amount of the lung area is. So by exhaling and holding your breath, you can relax and take a nice large breath. So an another way of doing it is actually by bending over slightly so you can exhale all the air. Exhale all of your air, hold for, hold for a couple of seconds, and then take a breath like this. And then release. Now when you release, of course, hold the air for as long as possible. If you can hold for 10 or 12 seconds without taking a breath, that's great. So you exhale. Hold for as long as possible and drop your jaw and you feel all of this filling up. The way I teach breathing is actually, I hopefully, hopefully in the most natural way possible. Now, when, you, when you've actually got this going, you're taking in a nice amount of air, then we have to look at the way that we're using air. And <clears throat> this is a great exercise that I got from Ronnie Dunn, who was one of our top teachers in the academy, who just celebrated her 91st birthday. Yes her 91st birthday and she's still going strong. So <clears throat> it's the notion of hot air and cold air. So if we just put the hand in front of the face and blow hard, <sighs> the air will be coldish. If we take the same, move the hand a little bit closer and just breathe very slowly and warm, like you're trying to warm up your hands in the morning, you should feel warm air. Now, why is some air coming out cold and some air coming out warm? Well, the fact is the warm, the air that's coming out warm is coming up slowly from the lungs. And this is really the main sort of system of breath support to be used. So one exercise is to take your hand and breathe against it for as long as you can. And after about 10 or 12 seconds, you should notice a feeling down here. You know, I won't tell you exactly what you should feel, and I, but I will tell you that you should feel more towards the sides. So when you do all of this, Th this will actually bring your attention to what muscles you use for breath support. But remember, this is again not an automatic exercise. Doing it won't increase your breath support. You must actively copy the feeling you have, particularly when you're getting to the 10 or 12 seconds here. So following on from this warm air and cold air, we can actually use whispering as well as a way to activate down here. So for example, if you just say something in a loud whisper, hello, how are you? you will find something down here is actually tensing up. Again, this is the idea. This is the way to use this without talking about too much detail. And I actually don't believe that we should actually be talking too much about the diaphragm. The diaphragm is mainly used to draw in the air. After that, the air is put under pressure from muscles around here. So when you get used to whispering and all this warm air and cold air, we can put all this to practice again by coming back to the notion of playing melodies. Pick a simple key, again F major. I do know other keys, but it's my favorite. What I'm going to do now with F major, I'm going to play each grouping as long as possible, pause at the end, and then take a quick breath, or a deep breath. So, and follow on through. So the idea is to play, play the note until your air runs out, then hold it, really hold it, try not to breathe, and then suddenly relax your jaw, and hopefully you'll find lots of air just flowing in naturally. So remember, the best breath you took was your first breath.